Well, Salt Lake police are still searching for the suspect or suspects who officers believe used a pellet gun to shoot out at least 10 car windows in the ballpark neighborhood. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson spoke with an upset resident and shares the plea from a Salt Lake police officer. It's a, it's, it's a real disappointment. Chair of the Ballpark Community Council, Amy Hawkins, has had enough of vandalism like this in her neighborhood. We're standing near some income restricted apartments and I just think about what a bummer it would be if you walk out ready to go to work or a social event and you saw your, your car window bashed in. That's an expensive hassle to deal with, right? Detective Dalton Beebe with the Salt Lake City Police Department says the first report of a broken car window came in just after 4.30 Wednesday morning. On further investigation, uh, somewhere around 10 cars uh, had their windows broken from what we believe was a pellet gun. Shattered glass still dotted along Southwest Temple Street. An incident like this is uncommon at best. Um, it's, not, uh, it's not common for an incident such as this to occur anywhere in the city. Police are still investigating the motive and what the charges will be. In the meantime, Amy hopes the young community can focus on coming together instead of unwarranted violence. We're kind of an up and coming neighborhood, right? So maybe not everybody's been in this neighborhood for five generations. And I think that makes everybody more open to meeting each other and excited about the possibilities here. That's great. But yeah, it's it's not okay to, to just to have people be victims of property crime like that. In the ballpark neighborhood, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.